she's a term to do okay. I'm Nigerian. I'm a student, a writer, a blogger, and a motivational speaker. I have authored five works in total and I'm still working on them. Um, most of my works are based on general fiction and romance. In general fiction, in the sense that I talk about society and its stereotypes. <music> I've been writing for a very long time, since I was nine years old, since I was able to convey the experiences, the situations around me, and the things that I see and I hear into stories I've been writing. For me, writing is a full-time thing. I don't think I see writing as part-time. <laughs> time to write my stories. That would be any time that I am less busy and free and not overwhelmed by anything. Mostly I get my inspirations at any point in time but then when I get these inspirations I make sure to jot them down so I don't have to rethink the whole thing and then when I'm cool and calm I write. writing general fiction, we are writing about things that happen in our everyday life, regular things. In as much as it is fiction and they are your ideas, you also have to pick from your surroundings. and realizing certain things. For example, when I was writing my recent story, Concrete Papers, it talks about being a male child in Africa and reading blog posts, researches, asking questions from people around me, I realized that male children are stereotyped as strong and that even when they are not strong, they choose to act as though they are strong so everyone around them doesn't know that they are going through certain things. And I feel that it is wrong. Those kind of things can cause breakdown. So in my story, I was trying to bring it out in the open that things shouldn't be this way. They shouldn't be stereotyped in this certain way. We should look at them as human, as everybody. So basically, my experiences, the things that I learned while researching are the most useful thing. And they could also be the most destructive because it messes with your mind. You're like, is this what's happened in society? How come we are unaware of these things? So the most useful thing you learn could also be the most destructive thing. Um, how I pick myself up after I slump, that would be knowing fully well that writing is the only way I can channel my voice. Ever since I was little, I've always known that the only way and the most outspoken way in which I could actually voice my inner thoughts out and through writing them down. 
penning down what I believe, penning down things I feel can impact the lives of other people. That has always been my drive. So when I, I feel down and I feel like I don't want to go on writing anymore, I remember that my voice needs to be heard. And there are a lot of things that are wrong that I feel that I need to say, so I keep writing, keep moving because of that. Um, my favorite scene to write in a book would be the part where where the climax after the suspense, knowing fully well that I have the power to change anything in my own story. The stories are a set of lives, in, in as much as they are my ideas, they are also like real life. And people are reading it, people are expecting what is going to happen at this point in time, what is going to happen. Knowing fully well that I am one who has the power to change certain events, it actually makes me very happy. So that is my best part. into writing would be to first and foremost believe in yourself, believe in your ability, believe in your ideas. Because if you don't believe in yourself and let what other people say get to you, then you won't go anywhere. So no matter what you do, no matter what genre you're writing, no matter how it is you want to go about it, first and foremost believe that you can write it and you can write it. Thank you. Thank you.